What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another top 10 video and today we're going to do the top 10 action figures of 2023 by yours truly and this is not my top 10 list and by the way if you are trying to get your action figures uh, you can't do so on whatnot what? i do have some figures for sale via auction they all start at one dollar they run for one minute no tricks no games you don't have to pay for shipping you don't have to buy anything to win the giveaway and the giveaway is a brand new has lab his tank with all four figures included mint on card so go ahead and follow me on whatnot and check that out and speaking of the his tank that is not included in this list right here or in my top 10 list the his tank amongst two other acquisitions in 2023 made it into alpha tier I did that with the Galactus a couple years back, the HasLab Galactus. So HasLab His Tank, amongst two other items, are in that alpha tier, and I will discuss those. But first, I do want to get into my top 10 list of 2023, and these runner-ups right here were a lot of fun. Uh, shout out to Plunderlings, they did some great stuff. Shout out to NECA for their Universal Monsters. Nightwing almost made the cut, but there was another Mayfex figure that I liked more than Nightwing. Of course, we talked about the Legends, Jada Toys did some amazing stuff, Loyal Subjects, STCC exclusive Turtles were amazing, Warriors of the Kingdom right here, crushing it with their Pale figure, I love this Tarn figure, I love this second form Frieza figure, McFarlane Toys did a great job on that Doomsday, I do have a couple of rules for myself here, as well as Century Productions rules for tonight's podcast at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time come through tonight. You'd only have one figure from each toy line. Doesn't have to be the same company, but only one figure per toy line. And he had to include, as well as myself, include his favorite Marvel legend in the list as well. Didn't have to be number one, but mixed in there somewhere. Yeah, let's get to the number 10 spot. All right, so the number 10 spot goes to the Let There Be Carnage Carnage figure from SH Figure Arts, and I know that's going to piss a lot of people off that I have this so low on the list, and it's only because of the original concept design for this film. It just looks atrocious to me with him being so large and having the big old long tongue and stuff. I just don't like the design for this character in the movie. However, as a figure this thing is awesome i really do love it it is a very fun figure while the tentacles can get a little floppy here and there sometimes it's just a piece that i've always come back to and gazed upon in the dork room and just have been really really happy with and at number nine i'm giving it to the diamond select toys marvel select mr fantastic and there were a lot of awesome Marvel Select figures that came out in 2023. I feel like I need to do a top 10 video on just Marvel Selects alone. And you may disagree with me having this as my number one Marvel Select, but I've never had such a dope Mr. Fantastic figure. Like, I really like this Mr. Fantastic figure a lot. Having this display option right here while also being able to swap him out with the legs. And I just think the colors look great. And I like the overall appearance of the figure. I fairly certain i'm 99 percent certain this is my favorite mr fantastic figure overall so i had to put this in the top 10 list and at number eight i had to give it to snow job i know in my collection video i put him on the wrong side and i did not realize at that time how blasphemous that actually was as i've continued reading my gi joe classic comics He's part of the second group right after the original 13. He's there along with Gung Ho and Wild Bill. What the hell, man? Ah, oh, I would be mad at me too. So I am kind of mad at me for that. But I still love this figure. Always loved this figure. I love how compact he is with all his deluxe accessories attached to his backpack and everything. Just a very fun figure. Comes with alternate head sculpts and display options. Ah, I love this thing. Snow Job made it to being my number one G.I. Joe figure of the year. 
And at number seven, NECA Toys nailed it with their Mirage Turtles. Now, of course, if I had to pick just one, I'm going with Leonardo. But all four of them, you know, the same body molds, more or less. And I love these things, man. I think these were just a home run for everybody. Big thanks again, Steve, for helping me find this set. I just absolutely love this, and I have been gazing upon these figures, kind of confused exactly where they're going to go on the shelf, because I want them to be with my other Mirage Turtles, but I don't want to be tucked too far back. Anyway, I love these things. I think they were the best Turtles that came out of 2023, and I had to include Leonardo right here on the list at number seven. And at number six, I'm giving it to the Transformers Rise of the Beasts movie, Voyager Class Battle Trap. I love this figure. Actually, I thought 2023 was a really fun year for Transformers for me, having Tarn and having this Battle Trap. Amongst the other Rise of the Beasts figures, I was really, really happy, man. So, yeah, I, I still need to pick up more. I need to get that Mirage figure still. I don't have all of the Rise of the Beasts figures, but this Battle Trap... Oh man, it's an awesome figure. I wish Scourge was number one, but Battle Trap did make the number one spot. I don't feel like I have to buy, you know, an upgrade kit or anything like that to complete it. It's awesome as it is, and I really love both modes to this figure. Really fun character to see kick ass and get his ass beat in the movie, and I'm just really happy to have a dope version of this figure. He had to make it in my top 10. And at number five, in the top five, we have the Jada Toys Street Fighter II Ultra Fei Long, or Ultra Street Fighter II Fei Long. And this thing is really, really badass, man. Now, at first, I had gotten a bum copy. I got a version that was just not to par. It didn't have a working diaphragm cut. Well, I was at PowerCon last year. Frecky gifted me this one right here, and I can't stop posing it around. I just got addicted to the figure. It is the most nimble retail figure that you can buy. I don't think there's any other figure out there that you could pick up that has this kind of articulation. And for that alone, man, while the paint apps are awesome, the aesthetics are great, the accessories are great, everything else about the figure is awesome, but the articulation is just outstanding. I don't think there is a single figure out there that you could pick up at retail that has as dope articulation as this Fei Long figure right here. And while there were a whole bunch of awesome Mafex figures that came out in 2023, I had to say, I have to say to you guys that my number one Mafex figure is Magneto. I love this Magneto so much. I have it right next to me here on my desk with my other X-Men, and I can't stop looking at it. I like the various accessories that we get for him. I love the cape, man. And the figure just came out looking awesome. He's all big and bulky. And the fact that we got an X-Men 97 Magneto figure that... <laughs> It was just so disappointing. Made me appreciate this figure even more. I've thought about replacing my Legends Magneto with this one. I just can't do it. I want him with my other Mafex X-Men figures. But anyway, uh, I just love this Magneto. Such a badass piece. He was my favorite Mafex figure of the year. And at number three, we have the Nightfall Batman from the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. And while I'm not happy about the price changes, oh my god, this Nightfall Batman is amazing. I love this thing. Every time I look at my DC Multiverse shelf, I, I my eyes just go to this Batman right here. And they have made a lot of Batmans, but this is the one for me. I love the color scheme. I really do like the STCC exclusive version, but I like this one more. This is the Batman for me. I'm just really, really happy with it. It just stands out on the shelf magnificently, and I am just very, very pleased with it. And at number two, going back to our good old Marvel Legends, I have the final swing suit Spider-Man from the No Way Home movie. And if you guys saw my top 10 Marvel Legends video, well, yeah, you knew that this Spider-Man would be on the list at some point. This is really one of my favorite figures of the year. I really love this Spider-Man. I still love posing it around. It just looks great. The shimmery blue on it looks awesome. I don't mind the black web lining throughout on the suit. And it's just a great complete piece. Comes with all the accessories that I want Spider-Man to have. I am just very happy with this figure. I've sung its praises quite a bit already. He had to make it in at least the top three.
And at number one, I'm giving it to the Hot Toys Doc Ock from Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, while the face does look a little funny to me sometimes, I still can't help but absolutely just fall in love with this figure every time I see it when I walk into the dork room. It has quite a presence, man. There's nothing really like seeing it in person. It's just kind of weird, like, you have the figure without the tentacles, and then when you have it with the tentacles, it turns into a statue in my eyes. I don't know what it is, it's just the massive uh, space it takes having those tentacles there. The articulation of the tentacles, they look so freaking realistic. I love the paint applications. I got the deluxe version that had both sets. I really do love both sets, but I've been sticking with the original tentacles for the display shelf, and it just looks so freaking awesome, man. This thing is so damn cool. Again, head sculpt, I think it could have used some work, but it wasn't enough for it to get knocked off the list by any means, and it's still my number one figure of the year. I freaking love this Doc Ock. But is Doc Ock really the number one figure of the year? Do Haslabs count in these top 10 videos? I'm afraid they do not. So the number three figure of the Alpha set over here is going to the Haslab His Tank. I freaking love the His Tank and it is a gift that keeps on giving. Uh, they keep on having these uh, box sets that you could pick up, which I think is really awesome. I just picked up one of them and I know they're going to make more of them and it's just fun to add any kind of crimson colored G.I. Joe classified figure to this His Tank and I just love this thing. It's just an immaculate piece. Uh, what a home run of a HasLab. In my opinion, it had to make uh, the group of the Alpha set and the number two of these alphas is the Robosyn Grimlock. I think originally priced at $1,500, barely counts as an action figure anymore at this point. We're looking at straight up robotics on another level over here. So I didn't feel like it was fair to, you know, put that in the same realm as something like a, you know, $20 Nightfall Batman, you know what I'm saying? But man, this Grimlock, holy crap. Just, I've just been absolutely stunned by it. I, I can't I can't help but just get freaking giddy every time I see it transform. It is a stellar piece. And then the number one alpha, my number one toy of 2023, the thing that I've had the most fun with is the Segway G2 Transformers themed super scooter. Oh yeah, this is <laughs> this is not a figure. And I've been scooting around Pacifica like at least a couple times a week since June uh, when I had this sent to me and I absolutely love this thing. It is insane. It's like a $4,000 scooter, man. It's nuts. Very, very grateful for Segway to make this happen. And yeah, man, that scooter is just amazing. I've only eaten shit once and it wasn't even too bad. But uh, yeah, you do have to be careful with these things. You can get your ass killed hella easily if you're not careful with them. But I've been bike riding for a long time, or at least I used to bike ride around here a whole bunch, and I know these streets very well, yeah. These suburban streets of Pacifica. That is the toy that I've had the most fun with. It's not necessarily an action figure, but it needed the honorable mention and giving it the number one alpha list spot over here. I had to give it to the Segway Super Scooter. So then get back to action figures. This is my final list, you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. I know not all of you enjoyed it because we all don't have the same tastes, and I'm sure my list pissed off some people and I'm sure some of you totally agree with my list you know each person has their own list and if you want to leave your list in the comment section below and I read it I will give it a heart and I'm curious to know what your favorite figure of the year was and we're going to talk about this a whole bunch more tonight on the live stream so don't forget to come through to hella sick figs tonight at 5 p.m with century productions and we have the whatnot stream coming up on thursday doing a giveaway for the haslab his tank i do hope you guys enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it so if you want to show some love don't forget to hit that like button stay tuned for more reviews coming to the channel so you go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well if you have not already and i don't think i'm going to do a top 10 worst because i don't have 10 figures that I could think of that are like the absolute worst, you know? Marvel Legends, I could 
get wrapped up in one to get all the figures to complete a wave for a build a figure I can end up with some stinkers that way but it doesn't really happen so much with other figure lines so I think I'm just gonna cap it right here with my top 10 best figures of the year if I come up with a top 10 worst I will do it but this time I don't have a top 10 worst anyway do you have a top 10 worst let me know stay tuned for more if you want to follow me on Instagram Twitter Twitch TikTok and on whatnot links are all in the description below and I will catch you guys later peace Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. And click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.